one of my favorite Nintendo spin-off series is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, and if you're watching this video, you're most likely familiar with what the series is, but if you're, if you're not, just to, I guess, familiarize you with what the series is all about, basically, you are a human who is transported into a Pokemon's life, and basically just become Pokemon. And you basically go through RPG-like settings. It is tech it is pretty much an RPG, but I feel like what really makes it stand out from a lot of other RPGs on the 3DS and Nintendo's handhelds is that it has randomly generated dungeons, and there's Pokemon. So you're a Pokemon going through randomly generated dungeons, and if that doesn't really sound that appealing, it's more fun than it sounds, because I actually, I do remember playing this and I found it to be a lot of fun. However, you aren't here to hear me talk about why I love Pokemon Mystery Dungeon so much. You're here to hear me talk about the chances of this series making its way onto Nintendo's newest console, the Switch. However, before we get into the main topic, I do have to say that if you have your own opinion, make sure to leave it in the comments, but also be respectable of other people's opinions. But without further ado, let's get into this. So first, let's talk a bit about the Nintendo Switch and Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. So, the Nintendo Switch is a curveball right now. Compared to the Wii U, it is such a different system, not in terms of hardware either, but also in terms of... Of software however this is one of the very few videos on this is it's happening series where the hardware actually really does relate to the game because for the most part there was an exception there was a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game on the Wii all Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games have been on handheld so the DS and the 3DS those are the home of PMD However, the Nintendo Switch is not necessarily a handheld, but it's not necessarily a home console either. So, would it even have a chance of getting Mystery Dungeon However, at before all? before we start seriously discussing this, we do have to make an assumption that we aren't going to get on our 3DS Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, which, being honest, I think that's a reasonable expectation because so far there has been two. And the 3DS, while it's still technically supported, Nintendo's not... It's not their priority anymore. It's not as big of a priority as something like the Nintendo Switch. That doesn't entirely rule out the possibility of a new game coming to the 3DS, but for this video's sake, we're just going to be focusing just on the Switch. But anyways, like I said, the hardware is very important, so it's most likely with the Switch being a handheld and a home console, which Pokemon Mystery Dungeon has mostly been on handheld, that it would continue onto the Switch, and it would have better odds than the series continuing onto something like the Wii U when the Wii U first came out. As for software though, it's actually a bit of a different story. So like I said, the Nintendo Switch is quite the curveball, and that especially counts in the software department. Like I said, compared to the Wii U, this, the software that we're getting is a lot more fan-centric, I would say. We have games like Super Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and especially Super Mario Odyssey and Smash Bros. Ultimate. Those games have really been appealing to fans, and what we can take from that is that this is the system that is going to have, for the most part, everything that we could really want out of most of these series, and that could carry over to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. And it could be possible that we could get an even more refined version of something like Super Mystery Dungeon, which was already, from what I've heard, a very well-built and definitive game, even Nintendo calling it the definitive Mystery Dungeon experience. So, from what we can interpret, this could be more of a series going back to its roots, and especially considering the devoted fan base of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, it's most likely Nintendo's going to want to serve that fan base because while profit is one part of it, it's also showing in their games that they are trying to they're trying to appeal to us again. This is something that we did not see on the Wii U with games like Super Mario 3D World and while games like that were very good, they don't really match Super Mario Odyssey in my opinion. At least in terms of what fans really wanted out of the series. The game itself, being honest, I feel like would just be, it could be a port of Super Mystery Dungeon because that game, even if you Nintendo just ported it to the Switch, it would have probably do very well. 
However, I know a lot of people are probably anticipating a brand new, completely new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game. And like I said, considering how Nintendo has been treating their fans lately, we might actually get that on the Switch. Of course though, a port is very likely, but a Gen 7 Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game isn't incredibly far off. Being honest though, I would prefer having a brand new game over a port. If I really wanted that experience, I would just get on my 3DS and just play some Super Mystery Dungeon. And the 3DS is perfect for that type of experience. And I really feel like it would just be better to build the game from scratch and just create something that specifically utilizes the Switch in a way where even if it is just in graphics that really shows off what the Switch can do which would be very appealing for someone like me but also really really shows what you can do with a Pokemon RPG like Mystery Again, Dungeon. Again I can't stress this enough while it would cost more money and it would be probably financially better for Nintendo to just go with a port I really would appreciate it if they just went from scratch. However, I can go on and on with the gameplay, but let's actually talk about if it's happening. So, Spike Chunsoft, who develops these games, have not really said a whole lot about the next game. We can't really interpret if there even is going to be a next game either. While some people have been saying that Super Mystery Dungeon was the final game in the series, I really do disagree because although in the box art, and on the back of Super Mystery Dungeon's box, it does say that this is the definitive Mystery Dungeon experience. That doesn't really mean that we are going to get a no we aren't going to get another Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game. And until Nintendo actually announces it, I'm still I'm still gonna go against. Unfortunately, it. recently there hasn't been a whole lot of news regarding Pokemon Mystery Dungeon on the Switch. There has been some articles on Reddit of people talking about it. However, nothing really official. Despite that, there is a little bit of new information. Last month, a developer who works at Spike Chunsoft, known as Arata Liyoshi, I might have just completely butchered his name, and if I did, I'm sorry, but recently he did say that he does want to release a soundtrack of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue and Red, and that's not exactly, that's not, that's nothing near the, an actual announcement of a brand new Mystery Dungeon game. But still, that's at least something, and it still shows that Spike Chunsoft is somewhat looking at the series, even if it's only one developer wanting to release an album. But like I said, we haven't really heard much else, but I do feel like soon we are going to hear something, and here's my reasoning. 2018 was a good year in general. I think a lot of people, including myself, have been thinking that 20, or not thinking it was bad, I guess just hating on it because we haven't really, or just not really hating, but more of just disappointed compared to 2017 because 2017 for the Nintendo Switch was an incredible year. We got games like The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, of course. We also got Super Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and... It's just been an incredible year last year, and especially E3 really set the bar extremely high. However, this year, it hasn't been bad. We are getting Smash Ultimate, which is going to be amazing. But it's just, it's not, it's not as good in my opinion as 2017. However, we've been complaining quite a bit, and I feel like Nintendo has heard those complaints. And I think after that, they're probably looking at 2019 and thinking... How do we make this the best year we can? And I feel like Nintendo really could do that with games like Luigi's Mansion 3, Metroid Prime 4, which I will be talking about soon, and there's a whole lot of other games, especially like the new Yoshi title that's coming out, that Nintendo has announced, but they could also announce some new games, and it is possible that we could get Pokemon Mystery Dungeon on there. Now, the release schedule for those games has not necessarily been that organized however it hasn't been that far from the actual consoles release date when you look at the 3ds we got two games on there gates to infinity came out in 2012 and the 3ds launched in 2011 so judging by that and previous game release dates we could be looking at a projected 2019 announcement for a brand new pokemon mystery dungeon game however 
that is just my opinion and if you have your own thoughts leave it in the comments i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to let me know in the comments and as always see you Nintendo really could do that with games like Luigi's Mansion 3. I keep blanking out.